Now, world's population are over 7 billion. In addition, the population of the world is expected over 8 billion by 2030 and more than 9.8 billion by 2050. So, we would like to talk about problems by population growth and solutions of these problems. In the future, we will be faced with food shortage that by population increase. We think there are three things that we can do for this food shortage. First, to change savanna into arable land, because if we get new arable land, we can get more grain, vegetables, and so on. About this, Brazil had a national project called. Japan Brazil Development Project in the Cerrado region in 1979. Cerrado is the name that tropical savanna in Brazil. Now, Cerrado Zone is one of the world's productive agricultural areas. And this technology that changed Cerrado may help food shortage in Africa. Africa Had about half of the tropical savanna in the world. So, if Africa's tropical savanna turns into arable land, it is a big step to solve the problem of food shortage in the world. These days, a new project is about to start. This project may help Africa's tropical savanna to use technology that s e r a d helped. If this project will be started, Africa's tropical savanna may change arable land that can get harvest crops continue. Second, it is to improve grain productivity like the time of the Green Revolution that was in the 1940s to 1960s. Green Revolution is a big event that succeeds in increasing crop yield. To use a lot of chemical fertilizer and to foster in breeds that can harvest it in large quantities. If we write the same revolution as the Green Revolution, a lot of scientists need to develop many chemical fertilizers that to grow vegetables quickly and breeds that can harvest it in large quantities. So, Scientists will probably succeed who has knowledge about farming. And finally, to do a lot of education on food. Japanese throwing away about 6.3 million tons of food that we can eat. This is meaning that Japanese throwing away about one bowl of rice, about 136 grams every day. In order to prevent these things, I believe that education at school is effective. If children take a lesson that about on food, they can know about food, for example, the importance of food, current situation of food shortage in the world, and so on. If these children talk to their family about food, Their family may be careful to do not waste food. In addition, if children who take a lesson about food will become adults, we believe that Japanese food waste disposal will be reduced and it will be possible to divide as much food as possible into areas with food shortage. Along with the population increase, Energy problems are also concerned. Energy is indispensable for human life. Electricity, gas, petroleum are representative of energy. I will describe problems caused by population increase and their solutions. First, energy shortage is going to occur. The more population increase, the more energy consumption also increases. And thus, more energy has to be supplied. Then, there is also a problem of carbon dioxide emissions. Humans are discharging CO2 just by breathing. In addition, in the future, 
the demand for energy rises, and if we try to combat it with thermal power generation, we will emit a considerable amount of CO2. The solution of these problems is renewable energy. There are many natural energies such as wind, geothermal, and waves on the earth, and they are replenished at speeds that are more than people use. For that reason, they are called renewable energy. By using these, it seems that even if human increases more than ever, it can cover their energy of living. It's still a long way off. We can choose all electrification when we buy a house, and we can choose hybrid car or electric car when we buy own car. In this way, it is becoming an era when people can choose renewable energy. So far, I have discussed two problems and solutions that may be caused by population increase. In the first place, how does population increase occur and why does it happen? Now, I will describe phase of population transition. In the first phase, child mortality is high, and then birth rate is also high to leave offspring. In the second phase, technology and medical develop, so child mortality decline. Then population increase rapidly, because birth rate remains high. In this way, population increase. But population transition is not done yet. In the third phase, people's standard of living rises, and it is not necessary to have a lot of child. So population increase become moderately, and it become decrease sooner or later. Many of the developed countries have experienced this phase of population transition, and it is found that there is no exceptions. Currently, 97 of population increase occur in developing countries, and one children dies every 4.8 seconds. First of all, we have to protect the lives of children in order to solve population problem. Natural resources on the earth are limited. Increasing human put a burden on the earth. It is not somebody else's problem, and it is a common problem of all humans living on Earth. It may be difficult to visit developing countries to provide support directly. However, we can try not to waste food in everyday life and think about energy. Even if it is small things, it will make big influence by accumulate actions of billions of people. It is necessary for our future that each one of us thinking about problems as we have said above and doing what we can do.